Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to be talking about generic stacks and this is lesson 37. Um, I'm not going to go over any of this code that we went over previously because we've used it in lesson 35 and 36 so I don't want to be redundant. Um, but anyways, to just quickly review about what we talked about last lesson, we talked about queues and a queue, you know, we learned was just like a line at the movie theater. The first uh, item in is the first item out. Well a stack is uh, is is essentially the first item in is the last item out and for some reason when I was in economics class in college uh, my economics professor he was an uh, you know an older guy he was great he uh, basically said uh, you know you can think of it um, you know during one of his lectures he said you can think of it as uh, the, the hardware store where you have that bin full of nails I don't know if you guys have ever been in a hardware store I was a long time ago when I was building a tree house for <laughs> as a kid, but anyways, um, to, to, to kind of summarize, you know, you put the nails in, uh, and the first ones in are like the last ones out. The nails could be there from like 1950s or wherever, you know, or whenever. So, and the the first one, you know, the last ones in, which will be the brand newest or the newest nails, will be the first ones out. So again, the sta uh, queue is like a movie line at the theater, and uh, you know, a stack. Well, in, you can think of the nail analogy or a better one, or essentially you can think of the first thing in is the last thing out. So, you know, I didn't want to go ahead and bore you to death, so this is actually going to probably be a two and a half minute video. Uh, to create a stack, just like we've created the uh, generic list and the generic queue to create a generic stack, use the same type of, uh, you know, language essentially, uh, stack int int stack, we're creating a you know generic int stack. Um, we populate the stack. The one thing to be uh, aware of here, to uh, put things on the stack, you actually push them on the stack. Um, peak, well, well, push them on the stack, and when you want to remove something, you pop it off the stack uh, right here. And peak, what that lets you do is it lets you look at the stack without actually removing anything. So uh, let's kind of just walk through this. We create the stack. We populate the stack so the first item on would be 0 and then the next item would be 1 and then the next item would be 2 so 2 would be at the top of the stack. So when we write this out we'll see um, you know, a peak so 2 is at the top of the stack uh, but we don't remove it and then the next, uh, next time we run pop so it's being popped off the stack so we're actually removing and returning the item so 2 is returned but it's also removed off the stack. So when we go ahead and peek again, we'll see uh, 1. So we should get 2, 2, 1 here. So let's go ahead and run this. 2, 2, 1. So again, queues and stacks are pretty simple. Uh, they're just another tool in your tool belt for, uh, for C Sharp. So anyways, if you have any questions about this lesson, please go to Nextstar TV and ask on the forums. If not, we will see you uh, tomorrow for the next lesson. Thanks, guys.